So why were you a no vote on the House Supplemental Operating Budget? Well, the operating budget makes certain assumptions about tax increases and a whole bunch of other things too. It also took money out of our emergency fund to fund things that are ongoing expenses. And we can't sustain that kind of spending. Now, the Senate has an operating budget with no tax increases that's balanced and doesn't do that. And so I'm waiting for that one to be reconciled with the House budget, and then I'll take a look and maybe change my vote to a yes. But right now, the House budget is not something that we want to be voting on because it really spends money from tomorrow today. One of the other things, too, is it took money away from classroom reduction in the future. And so the money that was in that budget that we pulled forward just because of a budgeting gimmick meant that in a few years, when we were supposed to be reducing classroom sizes, that money would have been gone. And so that's why it was a no. Can you share any information on capital budget projects for your district? Yeah, there are two capital projects in the budget right now for the 44th district. One is in Lake Stevens. It's the Civic Center up there. We managed to get a little money to get that project kicked off, basically the money to clear the land and sort that out. So a partnership with Lake Stevens uh, to make sure that happens and starts the progress of revitalizing the down core, downtown core of Lake Stevens. The second project is a uh, recently impacting public works facility uh, in the South County area that's going to help with the north end of Mill Creek and the south end of Everett there uh, to help uh, store and, and all the different pieces of equipment they use to run and maintain the Mill Creek Sports Park and some of the other things in that area. So there's only a few days left in the session. What, if anything, can be done with I-405? Well, last week we had two budget amendments which through a procedural move we didn't see a vote on, unfortunately. One was to remove one of the toll lanes, open the lanes up after 7 o'clock, and then remove some of the striping. The other one was completely roll back the toll lanes and go back to a 2 plus HOV with 4GP, which is what we paid for with the nickel tax. There are a couple more things we can do, potentially in conference, where we might be able to make some changes to the budget to help with 4 or 5. And there's one other option I've got up my sleeve, and we'll see what happens next week if we can make something happen, but that's gonna be a long shot. We're really at a Hail Mary stage at this point for this session, so please reach out to your representatives and tell them what you think.